So how do you add engaging polls to your Instagram story ads? That's the topic of today's video. Before we jump into this, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit the bell icon, and also like this video. All right, no intro, let's jump into this video right now. So here I am logged into my Facebook Ads Manager. So we're gonna create Instagram story ads from Facebook Ads Manager, and I'll show you how to add the creative interactive polls on your Instagram story ads. So we're gonna click on this create icon to create a brand new ad campaign. Let's start over. And from here, let's just pick traffic. So we're gonna drive traffic from Instagram stories to maybe our landing pages, our websites, our you know product pages or sales pages. I'm gonna call this test campaign. And then hit continue. So we're done with the campaign step. Now inside the uh, ad set, make sure you select the audience that you want to uh, target with this ad campaign so I want United States and let's just say uh, for the sake of this I'm, I'm targeting people who are into reading books so I am gonna select reading books as an interest and I think this is gonna be really big 1.6 million people that's great let's scroll down so here is an important thing you have to remember if you are creating Instagram story ads inside the placements do not leave it to the automatic placement because then it will run your ad on Facebook messenger like all kinds of places but we want specific Instagram story ad so we're gonna click on manual placement and then from here disable everything so disable Facebook audience network messenger and just leave Instagram but one more thing so on the feed, so we are gonna disable face, uh, Instagram feed and Instagram explore because we want this ad to run on Instagram story. So this is the only placement and you can also see here, this is the only placement that, that is selected. All right, let's scroll down. Let's pick our optimization for link clicks. Now daily budget, let's actually set this to 10 bucks scroll down and I want to go to continue and then go to the next step which is the ad creation that's where we are gonna create the actual ad so now we are at step number three which is the creation of the ad now one thing I'll quickly mention make sure you do have the right Facebook page and right Instagram account selected from this drop down if you manage multiple pages and multiple Instagram account you may have a huge list so do make sure you have the right account selected all right, let's scroll down. So this is where we are gonna build our Instagram story ad and also add the uh, interactive poll on it. So what, what I'm gonna do is for Instagram story ads, you need an image which is vertical nine by 16. So I'm gonna click on add media and then add an image. And I actually may have, let me see if I have anything here, uh, which is nine by 16. And I do, so I am gonna or I can just upload something. Let me go back up. There you go. So I can use this. There are a lot of vertical images. Um, so you can select something from here, or you can also upload. Uh, you may have a you know a design creative just for this campaign. If that's the case, you can. For example, I want to go with this one right here. So I can do that. loading there we go and I'm gonna X out the other ones and let's hit continue the important thing to remember is your creative has to be 9 by 16 now look at this so this is how your Instagram story ad uh, will look like now let's kind of build this out so Instagram story ad the image looks great primary text whatever you want um, to to say whatever your call to action is so for here, just for fun, I'm gonna I'm gonna poll people to you know to see what do they like. Do they like uh, paper books or like you know ebooks? What's their preference? So um, I'm just gonna kind of uh, put a question here. Are you what books are you reading these days? Right, kind of like that, right? Uh, from here because we selected the traffic objective from campaign level So it's asking us to give either website or you know Facebook events so for website. I'm just gonna let's just say 
uh, I'm just going to use my website just as an example. You can use any website that's, uh, that you want, wherever you want to uh, send traffic to. All right, now, if you scroll down here, you can add the display link that's optional, call to action, that's what you see right here. I can also change it to, uh, you know, no, apply, book, it just depends on you. Now, this is where you add the interactive poll. So we are gonna check this uh, check mark or this box, add an interactive poll, and then this is where you add your poll question and then the option. So I'm just gonna say paper books or ebooks, right? And you see how the text is in white. So you have to be careful the image that you select, if my image background was kind of like the, the white or uh, light color, it will not look good. So just kind of FYI, when you, for now, we're not able to change the color of the text from here. So you have to select a, uh, a background or a creative with like the you know, dark uh, shade. Uh, but the good thing is I can actually move this thing. So for example, so let's say I want to say my uh, option number one is going to be paper book. And then here I'm going to say ebook. You see how this is changing right here. Look at this. So that's exactly. Now I, I'm able to move this. So I wish they had an option where I could drag this thing, the sticker on top or bottom and left and right, but I, we can't do it. But we can play with some of these uh, positions and you know rotation right here. For example, if I want to move it down a little bit, so it's not like on the cup. So I'll add my vertical position to let's say 60. Hit tab. Look at that. So it has moved you know down in you know, a few uh, pixel points. All right. So we are done with the campaign. Before you confirm it, make sure you click on review and check all of your settings. Make sure everything looks great, and then hit confirm and then your ad campaign will go to Facebook in the review process. But this is how, you see how simple this was? This is how you add the interactive polls on your Instagram story ad. The key thing to remember here was from your ad set inside the placements, disable everything but Instagram stories and then use an image or a video which is nine by 16 and then you're able to check the add in interactive poll option and then add your polling options and then you're able to right now we're not able to drag this thing the sticker on top and bar, uh, you know on different places but we're still able to kind of you know change their position by changing these numbers right here thank you so much for watching this video today if you have any questions leave those questions in the comments below before you go make sure you subscribe hit the bell icon and like this video and i'm gonna see you in the next one bye for now